Hi everyone, we are going to talk about the atom today. Kind of exciting to start with the atom. So the atom is made up of three subatomic particles and you'll recall that the atom in totality is what defines the element. Um, that the atom is the smallest unit for an element. Well, the atom is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Now I want to draw a very rough picture. This is going to be Bohr's model of an atom, a planetary model. We have the nucleus in the center and inside the nucleus are protons and neutrons. Now outside of this are energy levels, the orbitals, and that is where the electrons exist. Now some details on these. So for a subatomic particle, the proton, it is located in the nucleus and it's AMU. AMU stands for Atomic Mass Unit. And I have a different video to explain where this comes from. Um, the proton's AMU is one, one AMU. And its charge, you probably know this, is positive. It's a positive. <clears throat> Next, the neutron. The neutron is also located in the nucleus. Very similar. It's actually tiny, 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 just a little bit larger than the proton, but just by a, a small, small amount. So for all intent and purpose, we say that it's one AMU and it is neutral. Neutral. The neutron has no charge. It wasn't discovered until the 1930s. It took us much longer to find it than the proton and the electron because in part it was neutral, almost like it was invisible to us. Um, lastly, we have the electron. The electron is located in the energy levels. Again, you could also say um, orbitals or shells. Um, this is interesting, super tiny. It is one 1,820th <laughs> AMU. Now, because it's almost 2,000 times smaller than the protons and the neutrons, it's almost as if its mass doesn't impact the overall mass of the atom. Um, so when we talk about mass, we're really just talking about the protons and the neutrons because the electrons are so, so small. And of course, the electron has a negative charge.